90 Day Fiancé, All Convicted Casts and Their Prison Times. Arson, Breaking the Law, or Domestic Abuse. You name it and we will tell you about that cast member from 90 Day Fiancé who was convicted and chaired or prisoned for their crimes. Starting from Paul Stahel, he was charged with burning personal property and defraud the insurer. It's not known how long Paul had to stay in the prison for after the charges in 2014 however, he got out on probation soon and his probation ended this year in April. Paul was also arrested for the violation of Kentucky EPO back in 2013 and was charged for it. Singen Colchester was pulled over in 2019 as he was driving without wearing a seatbelt in Connecticut. After being stopped he was found with marijuana and was also fined of $150. After making an appearance in the court, he was pleaded not guilty by the judge. Elizabeth Potthat's family was arrested for unpaid child support in 2009. Three of Elizabeth's siblings were arrested and all for a revoked license. Pothist's brother Charlie was arrested for possessing illegal substances and was left out after being charged with some number. Likewise, the Pothist family reportedly came under fire due to the allegations made of some shady business. Jason Hitch is not known by the newer fans. He belongs to the old members and back in 2017, Jason was arrested for domestic abuse. His wife called 911 and Jason was taken to Hernando County Jail, but Cassia, Jason's wife dropped the charges soon. Which 90 Day Fiancé fan don't know Jihoon Lee? His bickerings with ex-wife Devin Clegg haven't stopped yet, however, he too has a sketchy past. Jihoon was fined with $15,000 in South Korea for selling stolen phones. Although he got caught and has stopped it now, Lee wasn't caught when he sold those phones in China. Fortunately, for him, he never got jailed. Molly Hopkins a former 90 Day Fiancé star was arrested for marijuana possession, unlawfully and knowingly. Molly was originally sentenced to 12 months in a correctional control institute. However, she spent just one day in prison and got out on probation for the rest. Similarly, Molly paid a $300 fine and also did 40 hours of community service. Again in 2012, Molly was arrested and also found guilty for DUI alcohol less safe count and got sentenced to one year in jail. She spent one day in jail and the rest on probation. She was once again arrested for two counts of DUI and was sentenced to 24 months in the prison. Molly was held in a $4,012 bond but after pleading guilty she served in jail until 2018. Lisa Hamm was arrested back in 2015 for stalking. Specifically, she was charged a Title 18 Chapter 27 Section 2709 offense for stalking, threatening, and harassing or annoying the victim. She pled guilty by the court and was ordered to pay some fine. Scotty Deem was arrested for child molestation over three times in 2019. After getting sentenced to three 20 years imprisonment, Scotty was released earlier this year in May on parole. The Silva twins, Darcy and Stacy Silva got in a huge fight and were pushing and pulling one another in their house. They were given citations but were never kept behind the bars or handcuffed for this. Larissa has been arrested four times altogether for domestic battery. However, after paying a $345 fine in her third time, the charges were dropped to disorderly conduct. And also after serving 48 hours in community service and attending domestic violence counseling. George Nava was arrested in 2019 after the authorities found high-grade marijuana in his possession in Arizona. After two days in prison, Jorge was released in bail but was again sentenced to two and a half years in prison. He was released this year in May. Jeffrey Paschal was arrested and imprisoned for 30 months at a young age for drug possession. Been married four times two of his ex-wives have charged against Paschal with domestic violence. Jay Smith was deported after prying on his ex-wife Ashley Martson from her home security. He threatened to expose her secrets and he was also taken to ICE custody but Jay's tattoo parlor boss bailed him out on $4,500. These were some convicted cast members from 90 Day Fiancé. Let us know how many of them did you know. And comments for more such videos daily. Thank you for joining us.